My name is Joy, I'm an alcoholic, and I'm also an alumni of the Betty Ford Center. My relationship with alcohol started in high school. Um, I would relate to that I was a normal drinker, a kid, you know, wanting to drink at parties and, and experimenting. But um, I knew I liked alcohol from the beginning. I knew that it made me feel wonderful inside, it made me feel beautiful, sexy, all these things that I wanted to feel. Through my 20s, you know, had that relationship with alcohol that I thought was fun. I think by the time I was 30, and it was on my wedding day, and I was drinking a half a gallon of vodka, and I knew that this was, you know, this was my life, that there was a, a problem with alcohol, and I couldn't stop. At the end of my drinking, I was drinking, you know, around the clock, and I had to have alcohol just to make it through the day. I um, was physically addicted, my hands would shake, and I just needed an, a drink every hour to make it through, and I um, was at my salon at 10 o'clock on a Tuesday, and I looked in the mirror, and I just had this moment of clarity that I was killing myself with alcohol, and it was the first time I looked at myself and really knew that I was powerless over alcohol. Alcohol had become everything to me and I could not stop drinking and it was the first time I realized I needed help. My life today is, is the life that I always wanted. I think most of us, if you ask people what they want, is just to be happy and I think I was always searching for that happiness and I thought alcohol was making me happy and I lost joy. I lost the woman that I was and I have her back today. But, um, what I learned here that at the center that was the biggest gift to me was codependency. When I got here I realized I had a problem with alcohol but um, during the first week I was exposed to different programs and on codependency light bulbs went off for me. I realized I had played a huge codependency role in my whole life and my family and I took care of everyone and everything and never looked at myself. If you're watching this right now and you're feeling the shame and guilt I felt, I can tell you that today in recovery I don't feel that shame and guilt. Once I went to the Betty Ford Center and learned about this disease and worked through my recovery I know that I'm not alone, and today I can talk about alcoholism and share with you that there is recovery, and we can recover together.